Hello everybody, my name is Mario, welcome to another video. In today's episode I will be discussing with you a package for equality of Go values called Google Go CMP or Google Compare. Let's get this thing started. The agenda for this episode will be consisting of four things. We will be talking about the requirements for the demo, how to or what does testing mean, uh, asserting results, and the actual demo. So let's continue. The demo consists of using, we're going to be using Go 1.15. You can use anything up to something recent. I recommend using at least 1.14. And you have to have a little bit of understanding of Go modules, okay? Now, what is testing? Now, in the context of testing, I want to be talking about unit testing and specifically what Go offers uh, at the moment. And I will be specifically talking about uh, the testing package which is already included in the testing in the standard library as well as some of the ways that we can use external packages for extending what we currently have with the we have available with the testing package all right so if we if we boil down testing what it is is that you need to compare two results an actual and an expected one. If we look at the ex at example that I have right here that says test apps, which consists on testing the absolute uh, method or fun rather, function of the math package. And what we are expecting here is that the expectation that we are trying to get is the number one and the actual value is the value that is being returned by this method or this function rather. All right, so we're comparing the expected, which is one, to the actual, which is the result of this uh, function. That is basically what it is. Now, with Go, by default, it doesn't in enforce you or doesn't um, give you options to to build your test in a, in a different way. Like, for example, when using given, when, then, that you have given this thing when something happens, then do something. The idea of testing is that it is organized more in a simpler way, that you have some sort of inputs, there is some sort of configuration, and there is some sort of outputs, and you compare the results, and you do something about it with those results. The cool thing about this is that it's really simple, and in my opinion, it's more than enough for, for testing what you're trying to test. The testing package itself already includes a lot of things that are really useful for achieving this. It specifically, it supports coverage. You can get how much percentage of your code is covered or actually exercise, exercised by the tests that you're running and writing and running against them. So you know how much percentage, like 80%, 50%, whatever the case may be. There is an option for actually writing ben benchmarks, um, supports parallelism, so you can run multiple tests in parallel or subtests. And, and also, there's a way to have some sort of tear, tear down, um, well, tear down of, of, of your specific test. This is different to most of the common packages that exist uh, in the wild for setting up like suites, for example. There is some sort of like a setup method or function depending on the language. Um, and there is a cleanup function. In the context of Go and specifically for the testing package in the standard library, the cleanup is part of the function that is being uh, testing the subtests, and I will show you that uh, when we go into the demo and how that how, how, the, how that works. But in the end, we need to consider if all of this is enough for what we're, try for we're trying to achieve when, when testing and when uh, writing tests. In Go, like I mentioned, a certain results consist of uh, what is included in the standard library or in the language itself, which is basically using the operators equal and not equal for comparing results, or using uh, the reflect package, which, which is also included in the standard library, and specifically uh, to, to use um, this function called deep, excuse me, deep equal. With deep equal, what we're going to be doing is comparing results using, like I said, reflection, but it works different. And there is, uh, I highly recommend you to, to read the documentation so you can understand exactly what is happening behind the scenes. But in the end, it depends what we're trying to achieve. Now, there is another way or another option for comparing results as is, like literally this value is it equal to this value, which is the, the package I'm going to be describing to you right now. Now, besides those two, those two 
or rather those options that I call I'm calling vanilla. There is the, the there are some packages that consist on doing asserts, and the idea of assert is a little bit of similar, a little bit similar to the comparison, but at least it's a, a slightly more um, to the point. And and you may you may like that. I personally don't use any of these libraries. I am mentioning them because it's another way to do to achieve the same result doing something else. But it's something that you may be considering doing. I talked about the Testify and specifically the the cert module, the cert package in Testify, when I was discussing counterfeiter back in. Not, well, not a cert. I was talking about Testify because Testify also includes a mock package for running a uh, for f that is sort of equivalent to counterfeiter. That again is back to the first video that I uploaded a while ago. Um, and a cert, that which is um, sort of like a, one of the newer packages happens to be using this Google uh, Go CMP package behind the scene. So those are the options we have now. In if, if, if you ask me and I will show you during the demo is that do we need to should we be should we use these packages instead of using something simple like comparing results like this equal to this? Well I guess it's up to you but I and in, in personally I prefer using something something easier to read or simpler than using assert assert like packages that's just my my personal opinion now how does it look like in real life now google go cmp supports um a lot of things that you can achieve when using the equal and the not equal operators as well as when using reflect the biggest difference between those two methods or those two options with go, uh, go cmp is that you have more um more more extra functionality that you can use when comparing things let me be a little bit more concise so if we look at the examples that we have right here for example um if we look at some simple and there is a some simple right here called test some simple and this one in practice is is, is using the comparison using uh, the, the not equal operator, which is one of the examples I was giving you a while ago. Now, if we look at a different, more complex comparison or test that happens to be using a struct, and again, the function right here is trying to sum dollars. If we jump into a test that happens to use the primitive types, which again is literally just using a comparison again, if you jump to right here we're comparing the actual strokes as is we're not doing anything magic or, or anything special again we're using the standard library so far now it gets a little bit complicated when we're trying to not only test the values are equal but more that they semantically represent the same things and to give you a better example is when we're trying to compare two slices and the two slices in our business logic that we're trying to test it consists of making sure that the slice a is equal to a slice b and by equal it means both of them have the same values it doesn't matter what order it doesn't matter um it's basically what it is it doesn't matter in what order those values are it, 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 what matters is all of them have the same things and for this libraries uh, or rather using the equal or not equal operator or even using a reflect a deep equal in that case that is not really possible but because the, the those specific methods try to match literally equally not semantically equally and the, a, better, a good example i can give you right here and i'm using google um go cmp if you notice is that uh -uh. I'm sorry, not not right here. One of the ways to do to not use Go CMP just yet is that you can actually write your own comparison logic, which in this case is just literally going through the two slices and comparing them by index. But again, this is sort of equal to you, what we will be using if we were using re reflect um, deep equal uh, and not really comparing that both of them have the same values no matter what order. And if I scroll down a little bit, you will notice that I'm actually here doing uh, slightly something similar. But now in this case, instead of using the comparison, using the the range of the four, 
and comparing them by index i'm actually using the the thing that i want to use through um uh, google google cmp this is another example i want to show you using read equal db equal again so far all the all these four or five examples i've been showing you are practically the same um but they do not support and again i want to emphasize this because uh, one of the cool things about using go cmp is that it allows you to uh, apply certain rules that you may be thinking or they maybe they make sense in the context of the logic that I try, you're trying to test all right so far deep equal and using equal are not equal operators it's literally comparing they have to be exactly equal okay now a great example when uh, using google go cmp is when comparing values that you say you know what this value is sort of at least equal or approximate uh, approximate to the, the value i'm trying to compare and and look at the, this uh, specific uh, sub cases i have key test cases i have here so i'm trying to compare math pi to math pi so they are equal but also at the same time I'm trying to say oh well i don't need all the decimals I, I just need at least i don't know five decimals okay that that's fine or maybe i can say um the minimum i require are four all right and this is the cool thing about go uh, cmp it allows you to also specify options that are already bundled bundled in, in uh, bundled in the actual package that are already written and you can use and specifically for this test what we're doing is having um, an approximate that says you know what we need at least to have four decimals and now if i run this test obviously everything is going to be running right here but if i uh, go and uh, do this and i run it again it will fail and what it means is that you know what according to my business logic uh i need at least four decimals all right that's one of the differences that we have with would reflect the deep equal and, and the comparison so it gives you more flexibility to what we're trying to do now if I go back to the example I was trying to, I was explaining to you uh, about the slices when we're trying to compare results, what we're thinking is, okay, are these two slices equal? Now, you can say, excuse me, that, well, y no, but yes, and that depends on the business logic. You can say, okay, they are equal because both of them have the same values. And there is a test above it where it's actually using maps. And that could work, and you can implement your own logic for testing uh, maps and whatnot. But then again, do you really want to do that every single time? Um, rather, using maps for testing slices, do you want to really do that every single time? Sure, you can do it. But then, if you use a Google CMP, you can actually specify an option again that it will let you to somehow manipulate the inputs, sort them in this case, and in the end, compare them compare them and it will give you the same result okay really 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 cool besides using or comparing slices there could be the possibility that maybe your tests happen to be using maps and as you may know already maps when you are comparing them or when you're trying to loop through them is not the values are most of the times not in the same order so what i'm trying to say that the order of those values is not um specific is the same all the single time so in those cases there is also another option for sorting maps so you can sort maps by uh, whatever logic we can define and at the same time we can compare them and again if i run this is is going to be passing but if i run this again if you notice the actual maps are different right one of them has the uh, uh, this is a difference this is basically a difference between the two maps and if i run this test it will fail and the cool thing about this and this is another thing i really like about google go cmp is there is an actual div mm, function right here that it allows you to see exactly what is the difference between the two results this is extremely useful when trying to debug what what broke or why the tests are not passing so it's a nice addition that is really useful and and it really 
you know improve your testing workflow besides that is that okay so we have a few you have seen a few options that that are available when using go cmp the other option that we have is to actually implement an equal method in the type that we're trying to compare i have an example right here where there is a message uh, type and the message message type is literally just a type string and what i'm trying to compare is if i use the equal operator they will literally be comparing the string equal the string so they will literally compare both values as is but I'm, when i'm trying to according to the business logic that i have is that that is not uh, enough for me what i'm trying to say okay you can have a uh, there could be uppercase lowercase but in the end for making sure both the strings are the same is when both of them are uh, downcased and they are the same so that's why this 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 comparison here that those are two lower of the two strings and compare them and by implementing the equal method that happens to be receiving the same type that is being um, defined or uh, right here they can actually use that in google in the google go cmp package and that happens behind the scenes and again if i go back and around it will pass and if i go and jump to the line 10 and disable or comment out remove this um it will fail again now these are a few options and i think they're really really amazing they give you more flexibility like i say i keep repeating this thing but it's really, this is really important because it shows you how cool this package is and not only that when you're comparing if you recall uh, if you read already what re uh, reflect deep equal does is when it's comparing strokes it goes and compares all the fields that are un unexported and that may or may not be something that you want by default in the case of google go cmp it does not do that okay so if we have uh, a stroke type which is called alert right here an alert happens to have an unexported code in that case the values are not being compared and is explicitly indicated when running the test which in this case is saying ignore unexported now these are a few options available in the standard or not the standard the already implemented go cmp package that you can use and you may may f find another more there is there are ways to actually um implement your own transformations uh, but perhaps you need to do something more more difficult than what currently is implemented and you can build that as well so that is also supported as well with all of that being said i really highly recommend you if you're trying to test or if you're writing tests in go and you're having a hard time uh, comparing results perhaps you should give this package a try it's a really useful and and, and, and wonderful package package that brings some new features that you will find interesting and with all of that being said thank you for watching and again the links will be in the description and you know keep it up don't give up talk to you later goodbye